Thanks for tuning in to The Real Deal Show, brought to you by ebodyboarding.com and Tribe Boards. Hey folks, The Real Deal Show, back at you. I am in the Maldives right now for the 2022 Visit Maldives Pro, thanks to the IBC World Tour. I thought a great opportunity to take time to interview some of the world's top bodyboarders, and I have the current world champion right here, Sadi Ohara. Welcome, Sadi. Thank you very much for inviting me. I should say konnichiwa. Si, konnichiwa. <laughs> She's speaking Spanish I don't know, like... and Japanese. I love it. That's Thank so you. cool. So, Sadi is the current world champion. She won the title back in 2019, the last time there was a world tour. And then the pandemic happened. But guess what? She picked up right where she left off. As of the recording of this interview, she is current world tour leader and it is a very close race on the world tour Saudi, let's talk about you where are you from in japan i'm from i'm living in chiba okay like ichinomiya town where we had the olympic games olympic surfing games yes so i was right there we uh unfortunately we couldn't watch the like olympic games in front like right in front of the beach but yeah, it was like really, fu uh, really fun to have a, like a, such a big event, and then we're so excited. So. Was it difficult during the pandemic? To you, could, were you allowed to go surfing? Oh yeah, like a, like a very beginning of like a starting pandemic, um, we kind of like Japanese. So we struck. Uh, we we are like strict about the rule. Yes. Then like you know like people try, tried, other people like to to go somewhere else like yes. stay just stay in the room like a house but yeah. there there was somebody like going keep going to the kept going to yeah. the beach so we we decided not to surf okay. like uh, about one month or something wow. so i try i tried to train hard like running around my house or something so it was a <laughs> kind of like hard time for that me. was difficult yeah. i think a lot of people some countries they couldn't surf for three or four months for sure. and for you one month but you managed to stay fit and now that the world tour is happening again you're in the lead right now and it's a very close race mm. who is your main competitor it, uh, I would say like Neymar and Isabella who is the second and third but you know uh, this is the main team of my life like like you know, like a rival, enemy, can be everyone. Yeah. So I'm not going to see anyone who is the most closest to catch me or, you know. Yes. So I'm going to just do my best. Then, yeah, let's see what happens. So Neymara has been competing at the world level for many, many years. She's, I think, 46 years old. Yeah, kind and of. And much older than most of the other competitors. She's, um, she's uh, like a lynch. Yes. of my mom's age oh wow <laughs> so <laughs> I, I i think i wouldn't say i yeah. i shouldn't have say that but, no but it's it, true yeah that's it, kind of interesting that like you know it's it's like uh, i'm fighting with my mom so i'm so respecting well we see that in the surfing world kelly slater is 50 years old he's competing against guys less than half his age and i think neymar is doing the same but Let's talk more about you and your family. Your mm -hmm. brother is a professional surfer, yes. right? Yeah. And is how's he doing in surfing? Oh, he's still doing the competing. Yeah. Yeah, competition, and then, oh yeah, it's been like not that good, good years for him. Yeah. And he's still like competing. He's still like uh, chasing his dream, like to qualify the CD, like double CT, and yeah, he's on the way to catch uh, like to his dream come true. Yeah. How so, did you get into bodyboarding? Tell me that. Okay, so actually my father is a surfer. Okay. Then my mom is a bodyboarder. Yeah. So we, like my, me and my brother has have uh, had uh, like two options to start like, you know, surfing. There's yeah. a short board and there were bodyboarding, the bodyboard. Then they wanted us to do surfing. Yeah. So we kind of like, uh, when I was seven, like we moved to the coast coast of like beach yeah. like ocean coast then they say like a choose like that surf order body yes board. yes and then my <laughs> brother already started like surfing like a, even like a stand up on the 
like bodyboard, like oh, mom's yeah. bodyboard. Yeah. So he cho he chose a surf surfboard right away. Yes. And it was like I was enjoying my like school life. So I chose bodyboarding, but I was not into it. So and then when I was 11, I was like, uh, oh, like actually bodyboarding is really fun. So I started bodyboarding like a. Uh, uh, like you know like consistently yes so like that well you don't remember but we used to travel to Japan mm -hmm. and compete on what was then called the GOB world mm -hmm. tour we had events we had events at Chiba and down in Miyazaki and Omaizaki mm -hmm. and even at wild blue Yokohama wave pool but there's a new wave pool in Japan have you had the chance to ride that uh, we have some like web pool like brand new web pool then like I went, I have been there like a couple of times in uh, Shizuoka, like where they have the Omaezaki side. Yes. Like, see, do you know Shizunami? Yes. We we have uh, they have a like web pool in Shizunami, so I've been there like, uh, like yeah, like uh, five times or something. So wow. it was really fun. It yeah. was really good because uh, as you know, as you know, like we don't have much like big waves, yeah. and then like it's pretty hard to practice folder like. Uh, overseas competi competition. So I've been there, like to practice, like uh, like uh, high technique uh, trick or something. Yeah. So it's been really nice time. Good. Mm. Um, now, who are your sponsors? Okay, so I'm supported by Pride Body Board International, and then uh, like SNC, which is a Japanese uh, real estate company, and the Power Project. Uh, like tools international which is like production for the surfing gears or something uh, I'm using the tools fins which is really nice okay you can buy it <laughs> then, okay so what else <laughs> like uh, yeah. uh, many sponsors uh, like supporting me a lot like a uh, central bodyboard shop in Chigasaki then like a uh, late love wetsuit live wetsuit uh, what else? <laughs> That's good that it's I'm sorry, difficult yeah. for you to remember. You have so many sponsors. Yeah, there's a lot of people like who is supporting support me like you. so so well. A yeah. real estate company is supporting you. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Like they use you in their advertising. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's good. I like world champion Sai Ohana. <laughs> Buy this house. <laughs> uh, it's not. <laughs> it's not coming yet. But okay. yeah, I, I hope they will. Give me some house. Yeah, well, hey, that would be good too. Get a house out of it. Yeah, deal. for sure. Perfect. So let me ask you a couple of personal things. You you get to travel all around the world. What is your favorite place that you've traveled to? Oh, it's a really hard question. Like, uh, I used to love being Puerto Rico, I would okay. say. Wow. I've Interesting. Been, yeah, I've been there like two or three times or more. Like For competition? Or yeah, just for for competition, only for competition. Oh, Puerto Rico. S Puerto Rico. Wow. So good. It's my like dream spot. I would I would want to live there. What spot did you like there? Oh, I I, I only been there like uh, Isabella place like oh, yeah. where they have like middles yes. or something. Yeah. Like a uh, famous about surfing then like uh, I really love. I don't remember why I used to love it, but then it's okay. a hot country because uh, we used to go like some somewhere cold. Yes. Which is really hate, which yeah. I really hate. Yeah. Everyone likes warm. Yes, for sure, with, yeah. because we're a server. Yeah. So, like, uh, Puerto Rico is uh, one of the spots which is really hot country, and then waves are really good. Yeah. Then, yeah, it was... Uh, and the other hand, like, uh, like to sightseeing or something, I would say, like, a lot Portugal. Okay, yeah. They have, like, same vibes. As me, yeah, like that. Uh, like webs are really nice. Okay. Also, yes. but then like the vibes, like they love sweet. Yeah. And I love sweet uh, a yeah. lot. Me too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Me too. And then uh, like the landscape is really nice, and yeah. then like people are so nice, and then like so safe, and I like the European style, like fashion or like a building, so yeah. something. And so. do you speak? I know you can speak English, obviously, and Japanese. What other languages do you speak? Oh, uh, I don't want to say I can speak any language, like Portuguese or Spanish or like... Uh, I try, I try, yeah. but it's really hard. Even like English, I'm trying to speak and I, I'm trying to learn, study uh, English, but still not enough. Excellent. Thank you very I much. I think. 
But you know, like I've been like I've been a lot of like country, and then they all speak Spanish or Portuguese. So right. So I want to show them like how I respect. Yes. So I try to speak on other lang other you're, languages. You're a good world traveler, and I got to say, a lot of these competitors on the world tour speak multiple languages. Mm. It's so important for travel, and as Saudi mentioned. A lot of Portuguese and Spanish being spoken, so good to know those languages. So, kids, study your languages. <laughs> um, let me ask you: This is totally unrelated to bodyboarding. What is your favorite food to eat? What do you love to eat? Oh, like you know, like uh, Jap Japanese yeah. love their own food. Yes, like a sushi or rice or like a miso soup or something. Yeah. So some Japanese always bring their like Japanese stuff, and okay. then they eat. Like Japanese eat food in like a uh, like foreign country, right. but uh, I have not that like I'm I'm not that Japanese. I mean like I don't have any how can I say like uh, I'm not uh, I'm not strict about Japanese food. Okay. So I would love I would love to say like I like like many foods instead of like spicy. Yeah, in the United States, have mm. you been to In and Out Burger? Yes. <laughs> I have been to LA for the first time in last October, and it yeah. I went there. Like In and Out Burger, world so champion good. eats In and Out Burger. Yes, so good. Not just me. <laughs> I love that stuff. Everyone, everyone. And you love sweets. Sweets. What's your favorite sweet? Oh, I would, I would say chocolate is my food. Oh yeah, chocolate. Okay. As you know, like like many many people know that. I'm like I'm addicted by chocolate. I always yes. like buy like a uh, chocolate like this. A big bar. Yeah. Okay. I like chocolate chip cookies. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah I also love it. Pepperoni oh. pizza. Okay. Enough about me. So, Saudi, I want to ask you, what's your plans for bodyboarding? Are you going to South Africa to compete? Yeah. Okay. Uh so that event is coming up in three weeks or something. For sure. You're going back to Japan and then to South Africa from exactly. there? Yeah. So a lot of travel. Is it difficult for you to travel or do you uh, enjoy it? I'm actually enjoying it. Okay. And then, but you know, like it's been, it's been two years not competing and yeah. not traveling a lot. Yeah. So the first of this year, I went to Chile. Then like, I feel like a little bit uh, like, Stressful to yeah. leave from leave yeah. Japan, but yeah, uh, because of the pandemic. Yeah. So I try to get used to it. I try to enjoy it, and I feel like uh, I found some point what I can enjoy, uh, like about traveling. So now I'm feeling better. Okay. Also, like you know, Maldives this competition, and then like next my next our competition in South Africa will be our first place. So this is my first time being here, and then that's going to be my first time to be uh, South Africa. So it's going to be really excited. Good. Well, we wish you the best of luck on the rest of the tour. You're going for world title number two. Do you have Japanese national titles as well? Yes. Yes, we have. Okay. And who is your favorite bodyboarder from the old days, older bodyboarders from Japan? Is there anyone that you looked up to that you respected coming up? Oh yeah, there's there's a uh, like many teenager yeah. Japanese, and then my dr one of dream is like uh, taking them to the world tour. Oh okay. So, so you're trying to influence the next generation. Like that, like yeah. that, because I was like that. Yeah. I used to be like that. Like I, I had my I, like Japanese idol, and they're competing in the like world tour, which is really. Who was that? Who was your? Like idol? Aoi Koike yes. and Chiaki Okuyama, and there's yeah. a, there's many. There yeah. were many. Yeah. Then like I was dreaming dreaming to be like them yep so i think that time to be no. like them now for me good for you so i'm not young anymore yeah no i'm not a, like a little girl anymore so i want to be like <laughs> <laughs> no i'm 27 the normal oh yeah you're so old 27 oh my god you're so young. yeah but there's many teenagers and they yes. Like they watching me, yeah. So like I, I would want to say them or like every like teenage girl from all over the, all over the world. We you can do it because I can do yeah. it. So it's not that hard if you do and spend your all your time. Then 
if you really want to do. We say you be determined. Like that. That's what we would say. Yeah. So you know, and the Japanese are a little bit shy. Yes. To open their mind or like that. So I I'm traveling a lot, and yeah. I'm trying to speak English instead of Japanese. But I try to be still Japanese. Yes. You know that. That's important. Yeah, for sure. I agree. So. Well, excellent. Thank you very much. Well, thanks for your time. We wish you the best of luck we, in your quest to win your second world title and many more after. I'm sure you're going to do great. Come from a long line of great bodybuilders from Japan. Folks, this is Sadi Ohara, our current world tour leader and current world champion. We wish you the best of luck and thank you for your time. Thank you very much. All right, folks, that's it for this episode of The Real Deal Show. If you liked watching, give us the thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And thanks for listening. If it was the podcast, we will see you next time, and we'll see you on the surf. Bye-bye.